Hello again. Hot on the heels of our last video. This is part five of the Tesla Combi YouTube series. And today we're going to talk about what the Combi is like driving on the road and do some acceleration tests and analysis. So after months of testing, uh, replacing broken motors, dialing in the steering and suspension, we finally could give it some good runs on the road. And now I can show you what this bus is capable of. So the converted bus ended up at 1600 kilos with the 75 kilowatt hour battery pack and that's getting us around 350 kilometers of range easily. It's got a lovely rocking action when you put your foot to the floor. And just feels really nice and smooth uh, at all stages of the drive. But yeah, the pickup from the Tesla small drive unit is awesome. And of course, addictive to drive. Okay, let's do the zero to 100 test, which is very unofficial, not on a track, only did it once and is using the Speed Hut built-in GPS speedo timer. Three, two, one, go. I say not the quickest because the previous time I did do a 5.75 second time as shown here. Okay, so let's have a look at the EV control data logging feet output from the 0 to 100 kilometer sprint that we just showed in the previous video. What we can see here, firstly, is the accelerator pedal position, which goes from 0 to 100% for the duration of that sprint. The vehicle speed as we saw in the video, it hits, hit 100 kilometers an hour in around six seconds. At that point, the motor is spinning at around 7,500 RPM. If you're interested in the stats of the Tesla small rear drive unit, there they are. Now, let's see what we actually achieve in this test. Firstly, the maximum torque we, is instant, and that's what makes electric motoring so much fun. We hit uh, the full 330 newton meter maximum torque instantaneously, and that um, follows a, a typical torque power curve, which um, drops off around halfway through the the sprint when the max power is achieved. Now we get about 177 kilowatts, which is what we saw on the power gauge on the dash as well. Now why aren't we getting the 220 kilowatts maximum power? out of the SDU, well, the peak power is calculated by the product of the current, which is the red line. We're hitting the, the 650 amps from the Tesla battery modules multiplied by the voltage. And the voltage range for this setup is, is 350 volts maximum. And you know, we did this sprint at about 90, 95% state of charge. So we, we started off pretty close to the 350 volts. Uh, but when we were under heavy acceleration, the voltage, there's a voltage sag. And so the product of the 650 amps current multiplied by the voltage at that point in time results in a peak power of 177 kilowatts. And that's because we're not running at, at a typical 400 volts, which Tesla's operate at and um, other EVs may operate at 400 volts. But in this scenario, we've got 350 volts at 100%. So we're still hitting some pretty high peak power figures. And most importantly, we're getting full maximum torque from zero RPM, which enables that very rapid zero to, to 100 time frames. So all in all, I think it's a pretty 
good result here from the Tesla SDU. It's performing as it should. Thanks for watching this far. Hit us up with any questions or comments below.